All right, nope. so today we're going to take a look at some happenings from Milsim West, the Caspian Gap. Uh, this sequence of events is honestly a little embarrassing for me, but it's a pretty funny story, and it's a pretty good example of why you should never trust a dead oh, man. That so we're coming up on our so friendlies who are outside of our fire base or patrol base, and they're dealing with a Russian influx. Searching you. And this happens. <laughs> All right, so what happened there is this guy was sitting there. I assumed he was dead, just what? like all his friends who are, as you can see, just sitting around. And unfortunately, he was not dead. He was just sitting there and didn't shoot the people walking by him. I went to search him. He pulls a gun on me. And in my shock, I look and I'm trying to get this guy to, you know, get some help from my platoon, there, but unfortunately, no yeah, anything, that didn't like happen. He shot them, and <laughs> the problem I had was uh, I couldn't get my handgun out in time, what? because I reached down to get my handgun, and my holster had shifted, because I wasn't wearing He's my Ronin now. tactics belt as I normally am, and it slid on my He's Rigger's belt. No so, lessons learned. Down, so I, uh, I should have kept my gun on him the whole time. I should have had a buddy. So there was a lot that I really should have done He's differently. Got a tourniquet on. And then these guys, unfortunately, who he shot, I couldn't buddy aid them. Luckily, we were just outside of our fire base, uh, which is also our CCP. Uh, then this dude turned out to have some ammo and a speed loader that he, you know, was bullshitting me about. Real dick. <laughs> um, but luckily, things ended up working out okay. Uh, the Russian influx had been dealt with at this point. He was kind of the last straggler hiding among the dead. And, yeah. We ended up having no real problems from that. But that's a good example of why at a Milsim West game like this, never trust the dead. Always have a gun on him. Always have a buddy. Make sure you have someone pulling security. I got complacent right here. I nearly paid for it. A couple of my teammates paid for it. But... Like every good BB Wars story, this one ends with a fist bump. That was a slick move. <laughs> so overall, uh, yeah, things were pretty rough there. I definitely could have done a lot of stuff better. Uh, I learned from it, and for the rest of the event, I had someone cover me whenever I was going to search an enemy, or I would keep my gun on them, and there was better security all around. Uh, but that's a perfect example of at a Milsim West game, never ever, ever trust the enemy, even when you think they're dead. So hopefully you found this uh, little story entertaining. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. So anyways, this is E-House uh, with my embarrassing sequence of events signing off.